All right, so I finally bit the bullet and bought a digital scale that I'm gonna be able to use with the goats. Got a digital readout, quickly roll it out here, plug it in, and uh, the goats will get on it. It's low, it's big enough for them to get on. Three reasons to have a scale. Number one is that you need to know your goat's weights, which everybody overestimates their goats, or their, their weights, the weight of their goats um, consistently. And so when you actually have a scale, you know, you know how to vaccinate them, you know how to worm them, and all those are based on weight. So it's important to have a scale and to know the weights of your goats. It also is going to help you to know how much weight you can put on them. It's very important that you're loading these goats to the right, proper weights. The other thing is that you can track a goat as he's growing, and you can also tell whether a goat's losing weight, gaining weight, whether his nutrition is good. It's just good to weigh your goats often. The other thing I really like about a scale is that you can actually set a pannier on here and load it and then just load it so you're not doing the lift scale, you just actually have a platform you're loading panniers on and it makes it super handy. So the other thing I want to show you when you're getting a goat to do something they're uncomfortable with. Now Mercy's an easy going goat, but he's uncomfortable about getting on the scale. He's only been on this thing once before, he was nervous last time. I'm going to show you just how to kind of be patient and work a goat through something that they're scared to do. and you're often going to be in this situation. Come on, Merce. Come on, buddy. So you can see I'm just going to exert a little bit of pressure on him. Not going to put a ton. I'm just going to put a little. And we're going to just kind of expect him to do what he's told. Good boy. That's a good boy. So right now he's nervous. He's wondering what's going on. I'm reassuring him. It's okay, buddy. Okay, come on. That's a good boy. That's a good boy. Good boy. Okay. Oh. Good boy. Good boy. All right. We're there. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. That's a good boy. Good boy. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. It's okay. Yeah, that's a good boy. All right. Come on. That's a good boy. Okay, so now we can get an accurate weight on him. He is 223. Good boy. Good boy. So now he's wondering, okay, why did Dad have me do that? And so I'm going to show him that I had him do that. He doesn't really need to know why, but just that I had him do it because on the other end of when I ask him to do something that I need him to do, whether he understands it or not, is love. And these guys will go a billion miles for you for love. It's what they crave and desire. And You're their alpha, but you're their alpha that's nice to them. And that, that's what makes you uncommon. Normally the alpha in their herd dynamic is going to be kicking their butt, but we're this alpha that gives them love. And so they'll do things that they're not sure of to know that you're going to give them love on the other end of it. So be patient. Give them lots of love. They'll go a mile for you. Good boy. Okay. Patgoats.com if you need anything else. Just look us up. We're trying to make this site better and better for you.